Yo, 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 I'm Moses. And I'm Aaron. And we are the old dudes who can rock. Step by step. No, maybe it's time for me to climb Mount Sinai. Step by step. No, maybe it's gonna go and meet the big guy. Commandment one. one, one. They got number one. Commandment two. Statue Commandment three. Three. three three Keep God's name holy Commandment four On four. the Sabbath you don't work no more Commandment five, five. five. Respect your parents for their alive Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is Timmy Bowties. And I'm David. And today, we're talking about the Ten Commandments. Uh, um, actually, Timmy, today, we're just talking about the first four commandments. Correction. Today, we're talking about the first four commandments. Wait, why just the first four? Well, the first four commandments are rules that help us love God. The last six commandments are rules that help us love other people. And today, we're going to focus on loving God. Awesome. But here's something I'm wondering. Where did we even get the Ten Commandments? Oh, uh, great question. You know what, though? Instead of me telling you the answer, why don't we have a special guest tell you? Oh, hello, Timmy Bowties. How are you doing? S Santa Claus? Santa Claus? Wait, wait Timmy, no, it's... I, I mean, it's me, Moses. Moses? How did you get here? Did you figure out how to make a time-traveling chariot? Because I've been building my own, and I can't figure out the uh, flex uh, capacitor. Timmy, Timmy, no, no, it's, it's me, David. I'm just dressed like Moses. Oh, yeah, pff, duh, I totally knew that. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you did, Timmy. Uh, I'm the one God used to help the Israelites leave Egypt and escape from the terrible Pharaoh. On one miraculous day, God split the waters of the Red Sea so we could cross on dry land. Oh, yeah. And, and that's how you got to the Promised Land. Uh, well, not quite. Uh, you see, before we could enter the Promised Land, we had to travel through the hot desert. After three months of wandering through the desert, God called me to meet him on top of a mountain called Mount Sinai. And that's where you found a zip line, and you took that to the Promised Land. Well, that would have been nice, but no. It was on top of Mount Sinai that God gave me the Ten Commandments. I carved out two stone tablets. Then God himself wrote the commandments into the stone. That sounds really cool. I just wish I could read about it. Why, you can, Timmy Bowties. I wrote all about it in the book of Exodus. In fact, why don't you read it right now? How about this? In just a second, press pause on the video. Wait, you know what a video is? Um, uh, yes. Uh, uh, Timmy, I uh, drove my time-traveling chariot to the video store on the way here and learned what they were. After you press pause on the video, open your Bible and read the verses on the screen. When you're finished, press play, and we'll see you back here. Hey, everyone.
everybody, welcome back. Wait a second, where have you been? Timmy, I've been here the whole time. Oh good, you're not gonna believe this. Moses was here. Timmy, I already told you, that was really awesome. I, I can't believe he found time in his busy schedule to be on our show. <laughs> Seriously, he probably left to do a bunch of other shows, but we got him first. We sure did. Hey, speaking of Moses, in our story for today, God gave Moses and the Israelites the Ten Commandments, laws for helping us to live the way God wants us to. And I thought, just for the fun of it, we could do a little challenge that involves some different laws. Are these laws from the Bible? Uh, no, they're not. The, the laws that I'm gonna show you are more recent ones. And here's the best part. They're really silly. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you a law, and you have to decide if it's a real law from somewhere in the world, or if it's one that I just made up. Okay, that sounds fun. Can the kids at home and church play along too? Oh, for sure. Uh, kids, after I read the law, you can shout out if it's real or not real. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, here's the first law. In the US, in the state of Arizona, it's against the law to have a sleeping donkey in your bathtub. Sleeping donkey in your bathtub? Yeah, is that a real law from the past or did I just make that up? It's so specific, I don't know how you would make that up. It's real. You think it's real? I don't know for sure. The correct answer is, that is a real law. In the 1920s, a local dam broke flooding a rancher's home. The rancher's donkey always slept in the bathtub, which filled with water and washed him miles away. <laughs> so after working to rescue the animal, the town passed a law that says, no more sleeping donkeys in bathtubs. Fair enough. Isn't that crazy that they actually that made a law like that? Okay, here's the next law. In New Zealand, it's illegal to sing jingle bells in the summer. Is that a real law or did I make that up? Jingle bells in the summer. I'm gonna go, I think you made that one up. You think so? I think so. You think I could come up with that on my own? Uh, you've done crazier things. Well, the answer is you are correct. I made that up. That was never an actual law. Good one, that was nice. Christmas in July. Yeah, right. I mean, of course you're gonna wanna sing Jingle Bells. In British Columbia, Canada, it is against the law to kill Bigfoot. It should be. It yes. should be, but is that actually a law or did I make it up? Let's go with an actual law. You think that's an you actual all agree law? At home and at church? Well, the truth is that that is a real law. <laughs> that is actually a law. If you do kill Bigfoot, you can be fined up to $250,000. Rightfully so. Which you're going to have a lot of trouble even finding Bigfoot. <laughs> right. Because I don't think he exists. Oh, hot take. All right, next one. In the US, in the state of Georgia, it is illegal to let your chicken cross the road. Is that a real law or did I make that up? That's a joke, right? It's literally a joke, so it's literally not a real law. Okay, the truth is that it is a real law. The actual, no. yes, no. yes, the no. actual law says that you can be fined if your chicken gets loose. So if he crosses the road, you in trouble. But you know what, that actually reminds me of a joke. Oh, that'd okay. be good. Why did your chicken cross the road? I don't know. Why? It doesn't matter, you're under arrest! Oh. All right, next, <laughs> <laughs> next law. In England, it is illegal to wear roller skates while driving a vehicle. It should be, I wouldn't think yeah. to have to make that a law, but I'm going that's real. You think that's a real law? Okay, the truth is, that is not a real oh. law. No, it yeah, I'm sorry, it, sh it should be, <laughs> but apparently nobody has tried it yet, so it's that's why it's not a law. Driving around. Okay, in the US, right here in the state of Missouri, it is illegal to wrestle with a bear. 
wrestle with a bear? Wrestling with a bear is bad enough. Yeah. That can't be a law. You don't think they need a law for that? Who would try that? Yeah, well, the truth is that is a law right here in Missouri. <laughs> yep. Oh my goodness, who would be crazy enough to wrestle a bear? Well, I guess someone in Missouri, which is why we have a law against it. Was it you? It was not me. <laughs> No, now, those laws were downright silly. In fact, for most of those laws, they weren't even necessary. Yeah, especially the Bigfoot one. Seriously, but that's not the case for the laws or commandments that God gives us. There is a purpose to all of God's commandments. Every one of them helps us live in a way that shows love to God or to people. Uh, but today, we only looked at the first four of the Ten Commandments. And Timmy Bowties, I want to see if you remember what they are. Do you remember the first commandment? Oh, yeah. It was, do not put any other gods in place of me. Yeah, that's right. Put God first. This means that God is the only God and we should put him before anything else in our life. Okay, what's the second commandment? Uh, it was something about don't make statues of gods and worship them. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Worship God only. This means we shouldn't worship people we look up to or, or pray to statues that are made to represent God. God is the ultimate, the creator of all things. So we should worship and pray to him only. Okay, what about the third one? Ooh, I think it was, uh, don't misuse God's name. Yeah, good job. Use God's name with respect. This means we should be careful how we use God's name. We shouldn't say his name like a curse word or yell it out of anger. And what about the fourth commandment? Oh, that one said to remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Nice job. Remember God's day of rest. God created the world in six days. Then he rested on the seventh day. So God wants us to spend one day of the week resting just like he did. Isn't that so cool, though? Just like you mentioned earlier, those first four commandments help us show love to God with everything we have. They help us love him with our heart, with our soul, with our strength, and with our mind. That's right. In fact, that's what our Bible verse for today tells us to do. It says, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind. Luke 10, 27. That verse is so awesome. And it makes me think of a question. In addition to following God's commandments, how else can you love him with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind? Press pause and discuss. Hello, everybody. I hope you had some incredible conversations. Like Timmy said, following God's first four commandments is a way for us to show God that we love him with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind. Is that easy to do, though? No way. In fact, because of sin, it's impossible for us to do that all the time. Yeah, uh, but that just shows us how much we need Jesus. Jesus died so that our sins could be forgiven. That doesn't mean we shouldn't try to follow his commandments. That's right. And with God's help, we can grow in our love for him every single day. So good and so true. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us for another awesome episode of JTS. Be sure to come back next week so we can talk about the last six commandments that God gave me. Moses, where did you come from? And why does David disappear every time you show up? Timmy. I already told you, it's me. I am Moses. You're Moses? David, how old are you? And why did you change your name to David? <sighs> no, Timmy, I'm not actually Moses. I'm just where... You know what? I'll explain it to you later. In the meantime, bye, everybody. We'll see you next week. Ooh, ooh. Can you split the water in my JTS mug? No. Bye, everybody. <gasps> oh, it's a bear, Timmy. Wrestle him! Wrestle him! I can't! I can't! I'll get arrested! No! <laughs>